What's up crew? So today seems like it's a pretty nice day outside, but it's kind of chilly. Barely staying warm enough in my Supreme shirt. It's pretty cold. Um, but anyways, today's gonna be pretty exciting. We have the Versace that's gonna be coming in the mail today. And then also tomorrow we have some Supreme dropping. It's like that, oh, I can't remember his name, but it's an artist. He's like a graffiti artist and he's doing like this graffiti lion. And I don't know. It's not that cool to me. And there's also Supreme jars that are dropping. I'm gonna wait and see probably what else is coming out tomorrow. Nothing right now is really grabbing my attention. Um, but then Palace is dropping on Friday and they got some cool stuff it looks like. Some more of their apparel with the tri on it. So I wanna get one of those for sure. I still don't have one. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, Abby's out of here. She took our girls to the foster center and or to the learning center, excuse me. They are foster kids. We know you're therapeutic foster parents, so we take the kids that have been through some major trauma. We can only take one at a time, but we have two sisters right now because they want to keep them together, so it's like a special situation. Anyways, uh, last night I had a little bit of time, so I started putting some more shoes online. Still got all those to put online. I put like, I don't know, like half of my shoes online because I need to sell some stuff, people. I've had a lot of stuff sitting in. A lot of that is actually my fault because I'm the person who's not putting them online. So anyways, started doing that because I knew today was going to be crazy busy. And so I'll finish up the rest of them hopefully soon. I'm not sure when or whatever, but anyways, I got a busy day at work, so I got to get there and I'll see you guys around. Oh. Hey, what's up, yo? So we made it to work, and we're gonna get going with this very, very, very busy day. I'm feeling it's just gonna be super jam packed because I've already got a bunch of stuff I need to do. And oh, look who's here! Look who's here! Hey. Are you the key holder? Come on, the guy. I do have a key, yes. Brenda wanted me to come on and finish bagging that stuff for the. Finish bagging those oh, bags. Oh, for the pre-release. Yeah. Oh, look at these tulips. She said, come and finish oh, back. She asked me another day, but I was wounded. See, I couldn't do it. Oh. But my suit's filled, and I told her I'd get over here today if I could. Now you're ready. Oh, look at these. Spring is here. Yep. Still a little bit too cold for my motorcycle today, but. She told me nobody would call it here. I think the rest of them goes to the old church. It's working on the new church, ain't it? Is that what they're doing? I don't even remember. I think they left home this morning something after they got on Oh, they I think they're going to uh, Seattle to go get Gina. But the truck and the car both have gone. Why would they pick three vehicles? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows what they're doing? All right, I'm going to go on back in. They're still in room two, far as you know. That's right. They are. Thank you. See ya. Yeah, not a whole lot of people here today. It seems like a lot of people are out doing stuff, picking up kids from college. <laughs> whatever but yeah i gotta get to work so i'm gonna do that it's like a bad dash and tonight i gotta teach a message to the youth group because spencer is out of town he's going to pick up his sister i'm gonna teach him how you know you gotta be listening to the right voice you gotta know what's going on in your head like take control we need to start taking control of ourselves and really owning up to our actions so that's about the gist of it but i gotta get going so see you okay well my work day is done for right now anyways. I still gotta come back tonight. I got a bunch of stuff I'm doing tonight. Got my message notes all ready for my talk I'm gonna give to the teenagers, so good deal. Got that all figured out. I'm gonna go study a little bit more at home, but hopefully I got some Versace waiting for me at home, but who knows. So anyways, remember guys, I still got that raffle going on. Make sure to click the link in the description below. You can enter into that raffle for that custom t-shirt. Yeah, it looks pretty dope, I think. So you'll definitely want to try and snag that shirt and then in the future i'll even like have some available for people to buy if they really like them if you guys really like it that might be something that i do i've got a lot of different things i'm thinking about but i just want to put them on paper put them on fabric instead of like trying to explain what my design ideas are like that that stuff but yeah anyways we're going home and let's go to the spot people let's just go oh seatbelt first right yeah thanks for reminding me seatbelt Hey, so I ended up getting a package in the mail. I've been tracking it and, you know, <laughs> had to sign for it and everything. So pretty prepared for it and all of that. It's just they caught me right as I was coming home. So didn't have the camera out, but we have the knife out and we're ready to break in to this sneaker right here. Got it. Come on, close. All right. Ooh, nice. Look at this. There is your signature, man, chain reaction, and Versace, 
bunch of change, right? Put in this protected paper. This is a goat thing. They did that. And, oh man, they said the box was damaged. And it is torn right there. You can see on both sides, the box is actually torn on both of those. But not too big of a deal. Then we do have our goat authorization paper thingamajiggy. So here's a little tag that's sealed. Cool little tiny card. Here is a tag that's supposed to be attached maybe to the laces, but is not. Probably a lot of fakes of these out there starting to get produced. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe this isn't a hype enough shoe to get all those fakes. I don't know. Anyways, here's a dust bag that they bring with it. Here you go. Yeah. It's a pretty nice dust bag. It's a pretty sturdy quality. I mean, like, nothing super crazy fancy besides the fact that it says Versace. You set that over there. And then, let's go ahead and, oh, put this on there too. I guess that's how they do the shoebox label, apparently. All right, now, <laughs> let's actually open these up. Ooh. And you can do a couple additional times. Wow, here we go. And the first ginormous sneaker. Oh my goodness. This is larger than life. This is, oh my goodness. This is way bigger than I was expecting. This is like, this is killing me. So I guess I understand, like, when you get the Balenciagas in your hand, like how big the sneaker is, kind of gives you that chunky sneaker vibe. And this kind of has that because of how thick that is. Wow. Okay, and anything else? Looks like there's just random wash paper in here. Three random wash paper. Nothing else underneath the paper. Make sure. Cool deal. That's done. Oh yeah, so it just wraps around the chain everywhere. You can see that label right there. There we go. There's that label you guys like. You have the chain under here too. And my wife is like making a smoothie upstairs or something. So there's a blender going on in the background. Don't know if you guys could hear that, but wow. Let's just take a little bit of a detailed look at all the items that come with this sneaker. First off, we have the Versace tags like I was telling you about that weren't attached to anything. They weren't attached to anything. And then we have this Versace envelope and you guys are going to have to really beg for me to open this up because I definitely don't want it to hurt the dead stocking of these. Anyways, let's get into the sneaker breakdown. First off, we have the super, super thick sole. The chain reaction sole, look at that. There's that chain. If all you guys wanted to see it, I knew, I know. It's the chain, the chain, the Versace, the chain. Yeah, all that. So this all here is, looks like it's some sort of a TPU, kind of like an Ultra Boost sort of material, but a little bit more flexible. And you do have the leather, some pretty nice buttery, buttery, buttery leather. Wow, that is some really buttery leather. And then you got, this is actually rubber, this Versace thing here, and the pattern that they like to do. You got the chain action tag at the top, just hiding in there, real tiny like. And these laces also, like, these are just something else. Like, that is intense. They, like, tied it over and then dipped it. And that's, yeah. These laces will not come off of these shoes because they won't fit through that. So you can't relace them. Like, Versace is like, no, oh, dude, these are the laces you're going to wear for the rest of your life. You'll never need another lace because they're super strong. Parachute cord. And on the label, you can see it says 43. But I do not agree with that statement. Um, these are made in Italy. And on the label, here we go. See, it says size 43, made in Italy. But I don't think these are 43, really. Definitely the biggest 43 ever. This is also size 10. So here's the insole here. See, on the back of the insole, they have that Versace. Got his face on there. Come on, focus, where are you? And again, made in Italy. And this is like some. I don't know what kind of rubber this is. It's kind of squishy. Then you got the Versace branding on the back. And then basically the rest of the upper, like this is leather here, really nice leather. Got a strip of it going all the way around the laces. You got this like plush material, like there's a bunch of little pillows in here. I don't know like, how to explain it other than that, but there's basically a bunch of pillows like in the actual like structure of the sides of the shoe. And the upper, yeah, the upper, I guess. And then basically all the rest of the upper is just all mesh. Yeah, so there is your chunky sneaker breakdown. 
don't know, they kind of lengthy for it, but I don't know what that braille says, probably Versace, if anybody knows, please comment. I'm lazy right now, so I'm not going to. This shoe's definitely an awesome pickup for me, so glad to be able to have them in the collection for however long I have them in here. We'll definitely do some close-ups for sure. A little bit on feet, maybe, we'll see. We're gonna get to a very controversial part of my channel. I'm not sure if YouTube would demonetize me for this. I'm not currently monetized, but we'll see in the future. I'll probably like sign up for it if it's something that's available. But anyways, I'm gonna get into the Bible, which is teaching a way of life that is kind of contrary to the way people are being taught to think by mass entertainers and the mass media. I'm talking about like wanting stuff, wanting more and more of stuff to make you happy, like finding happiness in entertainment and just being always entertained and have something going. And America is really taking on this way of living. But Paul in the book of Romans now in chapter one, he's writing a letter to the Romans and he's talking to them. And in this verse, it just really laid out the good news and what it all means. And yeah, just explained it well. So it's in verses 16 through 17. For I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. It is the power of God at work, saving everyone who believes, the Jews first and also the Gentiles. That means everybody. This good news tells us how God makes us right in his sight. This is accomplished from start to finish by faith. As the scriptures say, it is through faith that a righteous person has life. So what does that mean? We just need to have faith 
that there is something out there. Like there is an afterlife and the spiritual world is real. There's a good and there's an evil side. We need to realize that these voices that are speaking into us to tell us maybe bad things to do or to look up something on the internet or whatever these voices might be telling you. I want you guys to just realize that it's like a spiritual battle. In this verse, Paul says we need to have faith. We need to have faith in God that he is going to take care of us and that he's going to protect us from those voices, from those evil ones. And this is something that we have to do on a daily. Like this is something where we have to work at it every single day to get better and better and better and just make sure we're staying on track with where we need to go with our life and not just like giving in to whatever is available and whatever's gonna make you happy in the moment. Like that's not what life is all about. Life has eternal value and there's a purpose for everybody out there. So anyways, this is me, Jesus Taco. I'm signing out people. I gotta go, got a big night ahead of me. So <laughs> peace out.